Okay, this is what I've come up with. This is a little simpler version of the one I've always used. This jig here is like a... So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got the center line marked on this. This is the front. I'm going to take this and I'm actually just going to butt it up just like that. Now this is made intentionally shorter than uh, these pieces. And I, I did that for a reason. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but you can flush them out if you like. I just wanted to make sure when I measured everything um, that this piece stuck out a little bit further, so it sticks out about a quarter inch. Um, okay, so right now I'm gonna take this 2P10 and I'm gonna put it on. Just like that. Okay, so that's going to be good. Now I'm just going to take the accelerator and just put it on. I don't want to use too much. See that? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now I can put also a little bit of a little bit of 2P10 on it. Put that on. So as I put this on, I'm going to put a little accelerator on. You know what? I'll take my glove off because I want to be able to feel the top. Get it flush, you know. the other one and do the same thing with that. Amazing how strong this 2P10 is. Don't you think I just shook the clue bottle? <laughs> All right. I like to get that air out of there before I put the um, wet glue on there. Okay, I'm gonna take this glue off as well. It's hard to feel flush if you have gloves on. So I want this guy to be set up seven eighths of an inch from this point, which is the edge there, over, and seven eighths from there, over, seven eighths, over. So when you put this on here, You see, so here's my mark, right? That's where I need to be. I'm gonna put this guy on there, and you can see it's right there. 
need to be right, right about there. Okay, so I'm just going to measure this guy over. I'm going to go up 7 eighths of an inch from the bottom. I flipped it over so I can register off the uh, face of the stop. So 7 eighths. Let's put a mark. And then I'm going to go 7 eighths from, this is the, obviously the center. So I'll go 7 eighths. Okay, now where those two join or uh, intersect, which is right here, that's my mark. That's where I want to drill. Now I've got a brad point bit set up in my drill press, which is really important to mark at, at uh, 7 eighths again. And do that again, just to be sure. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill that right now. So I've got this piece over here now. When I take a look at this thing, I can see down in the hole. Ooh, and I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm going to look at this one. Okay, so this is my um, modification to this. And this is actually not a bad idea to do uh, because over time you might have to adjust this anyways. The hole can go pretty much anywhere. I'm going to put one right here. Just a little bit. I'm going to put one I'm going to put one farther out here. For most of the time, this will where that will be right there. Now, if I flip this guy over, I'm going to take a pencil and mark where I want those to be. So that's just kind of get an idea of how far in those go. Okay. So that's where those guys are. Now, I don't want to be in the same spot that they are. So I'm just going to mark those. Now I can make my location a little bit different. I'll do one right there. Actually, I'm going to come down a little further. Might as well. So you can see that's going to be pretty easy to um, access now. It's a little easier than the other ones. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, twist drill bit. This is just a standard twist drill bit. And I'm going to, it's, uh, I think it's 5 sixteenths. Yeah, this is 5 sixteenths. 
on slow speed. Half inch. Again, those pilot holes are just there to give me something to guide me. Um, well, as long as I had the last one, which was, uh, I think I started using it in like 2002 or 2001, something like that. Um, pretty much about the time that, um, Blum started making their slides. That was pretty much when I started using them. So it's been a quite a while. And that jig I, I put together really fast because I realized um, I didn't want to spend the 50 bucks. However, I will say this after after doing this for as long as I have that $50 would have been Chump change at the end of the day really it doesn't matter um, You're just wanting to get good consistent results, but Blum has changed a couple of things about their slides. So um, the the first edition which is why I think this is off a little bit too it's kind of, it's slightly changed the location. I'm not sure if the hole did, but for surely the clip uh, screws have changed the size of them. Um, they changed that. So uh, I know that there's a slight difference. Um, so this is a, a undermount slide boring jig. Perfect. This, and I'm actually gonna extend that just a touch because maybe it could be a little bit better. So I'm gonna take my drill and I'm just gonna Adjust it barely out. Just so it just. So this is what's going to be nice about this is that I have three points of contact and for short, really, really small drawers, I'll have two points of contact, which is cool. Um, but at least I have those two the outside ones for normal. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is great. <laughs> that is really going to be, that's going to come in handy. Okay. So now I'm dead center as it sits. <sighs> this is good. So you can see here that hole. And you see where my, the center is right there, right? I'm gonna move it down and over to the right just a little bit, and I'm gonna utilize these screws to do that. So bear with me while I, so I'm just gonna adjust these screws out just ever so slightly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil again and I'm going to go right on the outside. It's, it's hard to not break the lid. So, um, oh, you know, I forgot to do also this guy here. So this is going to take me the other direction. Hey, right now that looks really good right there I definitely need to take this off and put the stop on this one so That's terrible or not, but might make it wobble a little bit.
These are not the drills I would use to um, drive this in, by the way, but definitely will be okay. So you can see that's the depth of drilling. And we come over, this thing needs to be seven eighths of an inch. And that is seven eighths of an inch. Let's check this guy. We are seven eighths of an inch. Awesome. Seven eighths up. Seven eighths up. All right. Perfect. So it just occurred to me that maybe some people don't even know what this hole is for. And again, they probably wouldn't be watching this video, but just to show you what it's for, on these slides, these are undermount slides, you see that little like hook right there? That's what they're for. That hook has to have a place to register. And it's really cool because when you engage this drawer box with the slide in the back, it keeps it from tip tipping. See that? It, it locks in so that uh, drawer box is in place. Also, it does one other thing. It allows for the adjustment of the drawer box. You can Flip this switch, this switch right here, or lever I should say. It's an adjustable lever. And what it does is it it picks up the this mechanism right there. It actually raises it. See that, how it just raised it? And I'll lower it, you'll see this thing drop down. See that? So that's now tilting the drawer box. So if your drawer box is up in the front and you notice that it's a slightly tilting back, you can use this to then take it and tilt it up so that the top of the drawer box is now in plane with the front of the cabinet. It's very, very clever. So they're kind of killing two birds with one stone with that. They've got it in there. But in order to get these guys, you know, located, you got to get that hole in the right spot. So that's where this comes in. So your hole needs to be just right. See that? So now when you put that in there, it locks in there perfectly. And it's good to go. All right, so that's good. So we're good um, as far as uh, everything goes. It seems like we're, we're good. Yeah, very happy with that. But anyway, so um, just thought I would show you.